Hi, and welcome to Yellow Shell. Today we're playing with Standing Compass. We will play with um, a wall today. So set your mat up facing a wall if you have a free space. If you don't have a wall, you can use a door. Please make sure that it's securely shut or locked. If you, you can do this practice without the wall, but it's so much better with it. And you'll also need a strap. Enjoy. First, and just start in a comfortable Shavasana, whatever that may look like for you. Usually, lying all the way down flat is how my best friend. I can, um, I've had low back issues before. Yoga's definitely helped. But if you have low back issues, drawing your knees together can offer support of your sacrum, palms wide. And if you're feeling like opening, just feeling vulnerable or wanting to be more open, then slide your knees open. And this can be a lot on the hips, so you can slide your heels forward. Cactus your arms if that feels okay. If you need more tuning in and you're ready for that, one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Notice how you feel as you arrive to your mat. Find your heartbeat, it's beating there, it's strong for you. Fill your breath in and out, a little louder with intention. Inhale, loud, fill up. One more sip of air, one more sip, one more sip. Open mouth, exhale. A little longer, a little longer. Two more, big like that, bigger than before. Big breath in, inhale, feel your belly rise. Take another sip, another sip. Open mouth, exhale, <sighs> a little longer, a little longer. One more, breathe in, blow up your balloon a little bit more, a little bit more. Biggest open mouth, exhale, you can even ha it out, ha, ha. Sound effects, effects always help, I think. Close your knees if they're open. Hug your knees to your chest and rock side to side. This yoga class is intentful to open up our hips, open up shoulders to relieve stress. Good, when you notice any kinks in your body, you slowly grab your strap and plant your left knee down. Use your band or strap to capture your right foot. Even if you're flexible enough to grab your foot, try to use the strap and feel a little extra um, power through your leg, even if your leg is straight. You want to gently assist your nose towards your knee, your knee towards your nose to start. You can slide your left leg long or keep it rooted. Left hand can come to hip to tell your hip to root. Let your head be heavy, breathe in. Breathe out. We're gonna work up to standing compass. Send your leg out to the right. You can bend your knee as much as you need. We'll do this against the wall. So good. It's okay if your knee is bent. Slowly swap your grip to the other hand of the strap, even if you can touch your foot, try to use your bicep strength to pull. Gently assist the heel slightly across the torso, right arm by your side. Breathe in and breathe out. Slowly hug your right knee to your chest, rock side to side. Let go of any tension that you may feel and swap out your feet. Send your strap or your towel around your left foot. Try to straighten your leg and it's okay if it's bent. Just think toes towards the nose. Wherever you are, breathe, gently assisting your leg towards your nose. Let your head be heavy. Rock your heel to the left. And we're gonna tune into our inner compass here. Thinking of direction, guidance. Thinking of your direction, that cute sign pole like you have in your yard, Toya. 
thinking about places that you've been, thinking about where you want to go. Swap your foot to the right hand, the strap, the item. Left hand can be by your side. Try to root down through your hip. Acknowledge how you feel. And trust your heart, your intuition to guide you to your next destination. Breathe in. Breathe out. So good, release your foot with your strap, your item. Send it to the side. Hug your left knee to your chest, rock side to side. Just a little rotation. Good, then find happy baby. Capture your feet. Bend and extend your legs, strain if you wish. Opening those hip flexors. After bar, we could use a little round of those stretches, right, Crystal? Ooh, man. Legs get really tight. Notice how you feel. Kick and rock side to side for two more breaths. Slowly hug your knees to your chest. Grab a knife your knees and rock and roll a few times. Three, two, one, whatever you need. Then listen, find your hands to a surface, maybe a wall or couch if you can, knees wide, tailbone back. Now listen, if you don't have a wall, you can take traditional um, child's pose or play with pressing against the wall. You can use a block to press your hands on as well. Pressing away, rooting your sits bone down even further. Mindful, pressing, heart to the ground. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly rise to tabletop pose. This time, send your right hand to the wall, the couch, the surface. Hold your hand there. Now send your left heel back. I just want you to root down through your left palm. Flex through your left toes and press into your wall. Do you feel all of a sudden your belly engage? Good, now tiny lifts of your left heel to warm up your leg. You're pressing right hand into that wall. Keep breathing, tiny lifts, eight more. Staying strong, just a little movement, four, three, two, and one. Gently release right hand down. Ooh, left arm goes forward. Send your palm in line with your shoulders. The wall is humbling. I do this drill in my handstand classes. Don't worry though, we're doing hip opening. I just want you to find that body awareness. Send your right heel back, flex your toes down. Try to find your heel in line with your hip. Really press into the wall, then find your tiny lifts. Tiny lifts, engage your whole leg, spread your toes wide. Good, think of keeping your right hip down. Press your right hand into your mat. Eight more tiny lifts. So good, keep pressing. Do you feel your core ignite? Then press harder. Last two, last one, hold it high. Gently release. So good, cow-cat pose to let it go. Bend your elbows, lift your heart. Round chin to chest. Cat pose. Cow lift, stretch your belly. <laughs> and cat, chin to chest. Slowly lift your cow, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, bend one knee, then the next. Rise to your tippy toes, then drop your heels. Spread your palms wide, lift to tippy toes. Exhale, heels, you're under the mat, send your head a little bit closer to your toes. Pointing your tailbone up, really press your mat forward. Find stillness in your down dog. Inhale your right toes high. Think about the square hip. Exhale right heel on top of the left toes. It's an elephant walk. 
not really on top, just right in front. Left toes lift, exhale, elephant walk, left foot on top of the right. Right toes lift, exhale, step one foot in front of the left, one more time. Left toes lift, exhale, step forward. And allow yourself to find a rag doll, maybe against the wall. If you're near a wall, walk your back to the wall. First fold forward, then walk your toes closer to the wall. Maybe send your palms back. This is an amazing traction of the spine. Palms underneath the legs. Breathe here. I just discovered this in 2019 and what a difference it's made to help with restorative postures. If you're ever feeling stressed, find this posture. A few more breaths here. Try to let head, we be heavy in your head, relax through your palms. One more breath. Slowly unfurl your spine. I want you to hold the wall, hold the wall, the surface, the couch, and lean, walk your toes back to a puppy dog stretch, hands, be head between your arms, breathe, lengthen, leaning on any surface you've got. Tailbone is back, heart is low, that's the goal. Feel the stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. So good, one more, a little movement. Right hand to the wall. Turn to the side and I want you to twist, rotate, good. So your palm is facing behind you, rotate. Left hand can come to behind the back. Rock your chin over your left shoulder. Don't worry, we'll get to flow. Just opening stretches. Hold your surface or your bar and find a little movement. Stand on your right foot. Flex your left toes forward and then swing it back right behind you. So it's a forward and back, like a pendulum. Rock it forward and back. Opening up the hip flexor. Way to go with the flow, you guys. Eight more. Good. Fun with wall, <laughs> breathe, or couch, or chair. Four more, really warming up the legs, firing up. Hold like one-legged mountain in two, left leg lifts. Here we go, now rotate out, it's a circle. Eight times total, five more, four, three, two, reverse. I know, how fun. <laughs> Circle, circle. It helps build strength in the hip flexor, mobility for us to move. Four, three, two. Listen, land in a figure four. Left ankle over right knee. You can use the wall to lean on. Left ankle over right knee. Breathe here, be gentle, bend your right knee. Exhale, release. I'll go to the other wall so you can see me. Finding the other wall, left hand to the wall, and press, palms face back, rotate. Try to get your palm totally behind you. Maybe you find a half spine, right hand behind your back. Gaze over your right shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come through center, lean against your surface, right leg, pendulum swing, here we go, eight. My leg still feels like lead from yesterday. It's good when you feel sore. Finding movement is key. Stretching. Increasing mobility. Three more. Chin up. One leg and on after this one. Lift your right knee. Pause. This wonderful hip circles. Rotate out. Out around. Out around. Hey, we're working glutes too. Five more. Three, we'll get to a flow after eight. Here we go, a reverse, a reverse. After the figure four, of course. Six, five, four, three, dos, uno. Here we go, right angle over left knee, bend your knee as much as you need. If you wanna fall all the way to the ground, you can with the 
fingertips. If you'd like to play with balance, hands to heart. This is your practice. Gently release. Find the top of your mat. Ready to move, hands to heart. Set an intention for your practice right here. Top of your mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. You're close to your wall or your surface. Inhale, arms lift all the way up. Exhale, back bend, open up your chest. Listen, inhale, right leg lifts. One-legged mountain. Can you send your toes to your chair, your wall? Good, and you may need to step your left foot back. It's a lunge against the wall. Fingertips find the wall. Wherever your foot feels most comfortable, Challenge yourself to get it as high as you can. So there's a bend of the right knee like a lunge. Press into the wall. For three, for two, for one. Gently release your heel. Lift your arms all the way up. Mountain, hands to the heart. Pause. Find your inner compass. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last bit with the wall right here for now. Lift your arms. Exhale, back bend. Like one leg a mountain, lift your left foot. Good, and then lean against the surface. Try to walk your palms up the wall. Bend your knee and drive. Try to hold yourself there. If you want it a little straighter, you can make it straighter wherever you're at. It's okay to have a mega bend in the knee. We're here for three, release in two, gently release your leg. One more lift through the arms, mountain pose. Back bend, let it go, open up your chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Head is heavy, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank pose, high plank pose, you guys, high plank. You can drop your knees right away. Find your plank, we're holding plank. Puffing up the shoulders, pause, rise to your tippy toes, listen. Send the top of your right toes down. Send the top of your left toes down, ready? Chaturanga with your toes already down. Bend your elbows, squeeze them by your sides. Good, then up dog. Exhale, down dog. Tailbone high, one more funky variation. Shift forward, high plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Listen, low cobra, toes down. Lift head, neck, and chest. Exhale, plant your palms. Lift first through your low plank. Low plank. So good, then down dog, tailbone back. It's a hard transition. Low plank to down dog, just to see how it feels. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, ha. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, arms lift. So good, exhale, airplane arms. Sink a little bit lower. Inhale, chair pose. Squeeze your thighs. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Chaturanga, my friends. We know options. Low cobra or tabletop. For your chaturanga, down dog. Inhale, right toes high. Exhale, scorpion dog. Stay in your scorpion. Try to send your heel closer to your glute, right knee high. Press your left heel down. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to right shoulder. Hold it here. Send your knee to your left shoulder. Then back to your right shoulder. Then back to your left. Then back to your right. Nice listening. Scorpion dog, right toes kick back. Exhale, knee to nose, low lunge. 
Land your back knee. Inhale, that crescent moon. Lift your arms. Exhale, find your palms together. Prayer grip. Send your palms to your heart. Think of the arrow on a compass. Then lift your arrow with your back bend. Here we go. Keep your palms together. Inhale, arrow, back bend, lift. Exhale, arrow, half splits. Can you keep your palms together? Fingertips to the earth or frame your foot, whatever you need. Bend your knee if you need. Slowly, slowly shift forward. Rise, crescent pose, tuck your back toes. Arms lift. So good, light in the right knee. Breathe in. Exhale, airplane your arms. It's a low flying crescent. Palms are shining down. Light, ready to launch. Keep breathing, extend your warrior. This time prayer, to, uh, prayer again. Bicep train your ears, gaze past your right toes, strong in the legs. Listen, like you're both pulling an arrow, you're gonna slide your left palm back. Ready, inhale, prepare. Exhale, left arm slides open, warrior two, slide it open. Yeah, like an arrow. Now open up your hips, bend and extend your leg. Ooh. You really want wide stance through your feet. Good. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Right arm lifts. Stay low in the right lunge. Lean back. Always an option to half bind. Breathe in. Exhale through your side angle pose. Right arm down, left arm high. Listen, you can extend your left arm forward. Right hand back for that extra core. Gaze to your right toes. Inhale, reverse triangle, straightish front leg, lean back. Exhale, low lunge, find your flow, high to low. Kick your right toes back if you like, a kapata, keep it lifted. It's the yogi push up or a skipperoo. Left toes lift, breathe in. Scorpion dog, point your knee to the sky, heel to glute. Stay here for a moment. Drop your head between your arms. Press your mat forward. Exhale, knee to left shoulder. You're in a plank, knee to left shoulder. So good, send your knee to the right shoulder. Then back to the left, one more time. To the right, and to the left, oh my. Scorpion dog, let it go, knee to nose. Low lunge, drop your right knee, lift your arms. Take a moment, draw your hands to your heart. Think about your, your goals, your ambitions, your dreams. Then send that arrow to the sky with a back bend. Breathe in. Exhale to your half splits. You can keep the arrow or release it. If you have the arrow inside your left foot, or tend to your fingertips, bend your knee as much as you need. Slowly rise to crescent pose, tuck your back toes, arms lift high to the sky. Right hip forward, left hip back. Slide your right foot back a little bit more, leaning back with the chest. Beautiful, you guys. Breathe in. Exhale, airplane your arms, legs stay the same. Sweep your palms down and back. Start to tilt forward, gaze past your left toes. Tell yourself you've got this. Inhale, extend your crescent, arms reach forward, strong core, leaning forward, ready to take off. Bend your prayer grip, biceps train the ears. Breathe in. Exhale, slide your right palm back. Like you're pulling the arrow. Ready to strike. Move the hips if you need. Bend and extend the legs. Pause in stillness. Palms in the same line. Reverse your warrior. Left arm high. Half bind if you'd like, reaching for the back wall. Breathe in. 
Exhale, side angle. Stay light on the left toes. Keep a bend in your left knee. Good option to stay here. Rest your arm. Right arm forward or left arm back. You choose. So strong. Yes, you can. Reverse triangle. You may shimmy the back foot. A foot. Left arm reaches back. Gazes up. Big breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, hug a low. Let your palms, maybe you take three like a dog. You can skip the chaturanga or you can take it. Just like the song says, rest whenever you can, whenever you need. Breathe in, yogis. Breathe out. Let's flow. Bend your knees, look forward. Travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale to chair pose, take a seat. Squeeze your knees a little lower, airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, your chaturanga. Find a flow that suits you. You can hold plank, build strength. Take it to down dog. Listen to your body. Beautiful, you guys. Inhale, scorpion dog, right toes lift. Exhale, your right shoulder, little windshield wiper, side to side, side to side. Right toes high, kick it back. Knee to nose, low lunge. Drop your back knee. Hands to the heart, inhale, arrow, back bend. Exhale, half splits. Tuck your back toes, rise, crescent pose. Anjaneyasana. Low flying crescent. Sweep your arms down and back. Inhale, shoot your arrow forward. Exhale, slide your bow back. Yeah, reverse your warrior. Half bend if you will. Side angle pose. Maybe you hold the light, hold your compass. Reverse triangle, straight in, straight leg. Your high to low flow. Take whatever you need. Leave what you don't. Down dog, tailbone high. Inhale, scorpion dog. Exhale, need a left shoulder. Don't think about it too. Side to side, side to side, side to side. Yes, scorpion, left toes lift. Knee to nose, low lunge. Right knee drops. Inhale, the crescent moon, arrows high. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, the crescent pose, legs stay wide. Exhale, low flying crescent, sweep your palms down and back, take your time. Inhale, extend your arrow, reach forward. Exhale, pull your bow back, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Lengthen, side angle pose, option to hold yourself up. Reverse triangle, lean back, your head a low, chaturanga. Yes, you can. You are strong, channel it. Heart is on, big breath in, down dog. Open mouth, exhale, ha. Look forward, bend your knees. Travel on top of your mat. Adding on, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, lift your arms. Beautiful airplane arms. Interlace your palms if that's okay with your body, stay low. Punch your arms straight and lift your heels. Drinking bird, nose comes towards your knee. Lift your heels, squeeze your thighs, start to bow your nose towards your knee as you lift your palms. Breathe for four, breathe for three. Last two, forward fold, release it all. Halfway lift. Nice work, chaturanga, high to low. Skip it if it no longer is serving you. Break if you need. Down dog, one more flow and then a break together. Yes, we can. Inhale, scorpion dog. Need a right shoulder. Two side to side, side to side, 
Side to side, kick it back, woo. Knee to nose, low lunge. Amazing, drop your back knee. No lift, your arrow high. Exhale, half splits. So good. This time, lift back your arrow pose. Exhale, splice right hand back, open twist bow. Right arm back. So good. Exalt your, exalt your shape. Left arm high. Breathe in. Exhale, tap left elbow, right knee. Palms come together. Revolved crescent, supported crescent. Breathe for three. Lengthen and twist. Amazing effort. Last breath in this pose. Slowly rise, crescent pose, arms lift. Breathe in, exhale, airplane arms. Extend your crescent, palms together. Splice open, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, right arm high. Side angle pose. So good, this time, Side angle, slide your right leg straight and then either stay in triangle or find your right palm to your left thigh. Left arm reaches to your right thigh. Find infinity, infinity pose. You may need to shorten your stance to grab your legs. Right hand to left thigh, left hand to right ankle. Breathe for three, for two, reverse triangle, right arm high, lean back. Chaturanga, high to low, or skip the push-up. Whatever you need, you can also play with an inversion if you'd like. Down dog, one more strong side. Yes, we can. Inhale, scorpion. Exhale, knee to left shoulder. Side, 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 done. Scorpion, knee to nose, low, lunge. Drop your right knee. Crescent moon with palms together. Half splits, bow over left leg. Yes, you can. Now you know where we're going. Inhale, crescent moon with palms together. Find your arrow. Exhale, pull the bow, twist it open, left arm back. Amazing. Exhale your crescent moon, right arm high, left hand behind the hip. Leaning back, breathe in. Exhale, tap, right elbow, left knee. Then find your palms together. Find a deep twist, you may slide your right knee back a little bit. Palms come together, enjoy the twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Try to keep your elbows in one line, hands really come to heart. One more, big breath in this shape. Gently release your palms, tuck your toes, rise, crescent lunge, straight right leg, leaning back. Breathe in, exhale, airplane arms, low flying crescent. Extend your crescent, inhale, palms together. Exhale, splice the horizon with your bow. Reverse your warrior, left arm high, stay low. Exhale, side angle. You can step your right foot forward, start to straighten your left leg. You can stay in triangle, stacking your shoulders, or send right arm forward, left arm back for infinity. Left hand captures the inner right thigh, right hand captures the left ankle. It's okay to bend your knee as much as you need. Stay for three. Stay for two. Use your inhale to lift you up. Inhale, reverse triangle, lean back. Chaturanga, high to low. Downward facing dog, so good. Come down to your knees. 
a moment of self-care, my friends. Water break, roll your wrists. Warming up. Definitely feel the hips opening. After a moment of self-care, Slowly come down to your back for a little bit of sit-ups. You can take this moment to rest. You can take a butterfly, a wide fold, or come to your back, knees up, hands behind your head. It's a lift, lower right away, get after it. Shoulders wide, toy a bird dog if you like, or find some restore, right? Lift, lower, lower, elbows wide. Four more, then legs will find tabletop in two. In one, tabletop your legs, lift up and down. We're not here forever. It's a speed sit up round. Elbows wide. Four more. Three, legs up the wall. In two, continue down and up. In one, legs up the wall. It's lift, lower, elbows wide. Continue to crunch. Breathe. Lift. Head is heavy, elbows are wide. In four, we'll drop the left heel. In two, in one, hover left heel. Continue to lift up and down. Lower and lift, hovering your left heel. Twist right in four, in three, in two, eight to the right, lower twist. Left elbow, right thigh. I know, let your head be heavy, yes you can. For four, dig deep. For three, for two, I know it's tough. Slot the legs down and up, right heel hovers. So lift and lift. Six more. Keep breathing, right heel can drop at any time. Four more, here's three, here's two. Twist to the left, right elbow, left knee eight times. Here's seven. I'm with you. Strong thoughts for four, you got it. For three, last two, twist it out. Bicycle twist, twist, twist. Bend the ears, straight legs. It's rotate, rotate, forget about it. Almost there, for four, for three. Legs up the wall, reverse crunch. Final round, palms down by your side. Crunch, crunch, low belly, lift, lift. Lift, you can do this forever. Tiny up, tiny up for eight, seven, ending in a forearm plank, in four, in three, in two. Come on, you guys, strong thoughts, forearm plank. Interlace your palms, forearms down. Hold your hips low. Good, drag your palms down. Hold, puff up your shoulders. Hip dips are next, in four, in three, right and left, two. Here we go, side, 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 center, and side. Center, try to tap it low. Center, and low. So good, eight. Seven, nice and slow. Six, super efficient, nice and low. Four, three, Last two, static hold, hold for eight, count in one, static hold. Lift your hips for eight, seven, six, press down, yes you can. Four, three, two, lower down, lower down. Listen, find your belly stretch. It can be a cow pose with forearms down. Or a sphinx pose, whatever you need. Stretch your arms if that feels good. You can come through your belly down, gazing over right shoulder. <sighs> come through center, gaze over your left shoulder. It hurts so good. Press yourself up to a tall seat. Next. Oh man, am I alone? <laughs> that was tough. Oh, find your strap again. You're gonna play with compass and take it with a grain of salt. 
because it's not for everybody. But the more we practice, the more flexible we'll become in this shape. We start with holding our knee, hugging your right knee to your chest and wrapping your arms around it like it's a baby. I like to keep my left knee bent. If you prefer to have it straight, you can. Think tall spine, rocking side to side. So good. The next step is a fun one. If you have blocks on your side, it's even more fun. Elephant pose. I don't have blocks. But if you do, find the blocks by your side. I want you to backpack your right knee over your shoulder. So I stay over your shoulder, but mine's over my bicep. It's not quite over my shoulder. I don't know if you can see that. As high as you can, <laughs> again, the goal is shoulder. Mine is on my arm. So flex your toes, both sets of toes. Right hand plants, and it's okay if your knee slides. Left hand plants just by your hips. Toes are forward. We're going to try to lift our butt and hover. Ready? Inhale, lift, hover. You're an elephant for four, for three, for two. <laughs> Lower down. Shake out your wrist. It doesn't matter if you, didn't, if you didn't lift. Shake it out. Like I said, it's more fun if your hands are on blocks. You have more room to sway. Now that that little core bit's out of the way. The next layer, make sure your left knee is bent. Grab your strap and send it around your right foot. Again, even if you can grab your foot, try it with a strap or a towel to know how it feels. It doesn't have to be in the loop, just around your foot. So your left hand has the strap. Here's the key, right hand, show it to me. Yeah, now slide it underneath your right leg. Straighten your right arm and plant it down. So as un uncomfortable as that is, you want your right arm straight like a kickstand. Now, use your hand, lean into your hand to, to extend your leg long. Use that strap. Send your gaze in between the loop. We're here for four. We're here for three. Last two. Gently release. So good. Other side, rock your baby. Ooh, I'm snapping and crackly today. Rock side to side. Option to backpack your leg, try to lift your body. It's hard, okay, I'm not gonna lie. Your, your leg is sliding, that's hard. Just try to root your left palm down and engage your leg, flex your toes. It will help your leg stay there. Palms are by your side. Try to think lifting thoughts. Ready? Inhale, lift. For four, three, hover, two, down, lower down. Ah, lifting thoughts, that's all that matters. Ooh, shake out the wrist. Right knee draws in. This time, the strap is around the left foot. If you don't want a strap, then try it without it. If you're like, I feel flexible enough. Left arm up. Slide your left arm underneath your left knee. Right hand captures the left foot. See this loop? It's not big, but your head is going to go in there. How, you say? Straight left arm. Lean towards your left arm. Lean towards it. And then use your kick to elevate. One day bending your straight leg. One day you'll get there. For four. For three, last two, gently release. So good, one forward fold to forget about it. Send your legs wide, as wide as they'll go. Lift your arms, breathe in. Exhale, fold a little bit or a lot bit. Doesn't matter if your um, flexibility is, you know, keeping you up, so it is. Crystal, since you're flat and pancake, you may try Karmanasana, tucking your palms underneath your ankles with your belly wide. You may need to lift, but you can slide your palms a little bit deeper, and it holds you down, so it's kind of a, a devilish pose in a good way. Enjoy the stretch as best you can. 
Gently assist yourself up. Close your knees. Rock your knees side to side, letting it go. Feeling super open in the hips. Downward facing dog to continue. It's going by fast. Downward facing dog, tailbone high. Breathe in, hand dog. Breathe out. Listen, eyes to the toes here. Slowly walk your hands back to your toes. So good. Pause. Feet are hip width distance. Plant your palms, bend your knees. Crow pose. Look forward, gaze forward. Stack your knees on top of your triceps. Look forward, gaze forward. Maybe lift one set of toes. Maybe both set of toes working on your balance and strength. Chin is off your chest, playing with this inversion. If it feels safe, you can pop your head down for teddy bear pose. Maybe it's the start of a tripod. Again, this is a yogi playtime. Take what you need. If you prefer a frog squat, that's a great variation. Elbows inside the knee. In fact, that's where we'll meet when you're ready. Frog squat, knees wide. Take your time. Nice variations, you guys. Yeah, Brookie. Nice stretch D. It's all about where your gaze goes and shifting your weight. When you're in your frog, try to lean back. Four more breaths wherever you are, yogis. Your flying frog is elbows inside the thighs. Amazing effort. We'll meet in the frog. Tent your fingertips, then hoist your hips. You're in a shortened, shortened uh, down dog. Slide your palms underneath your feet. It's a wider than hip gorilla. Palms shine up. Bend your knees as much as you need. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. Okay. We're going to trust the compass. Stepping through water to feel your feet together. Listen. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Right knee lifts. Exhale, eagle. Right leg over the left. Find your eagle arms. You can grab opposite shoulders, you can back your toes, try to twist like ropes. Elbows lift in line with your shoulders, bend a little deeper, try to tuck your toes. We're here for three, squeeze, squeeze for two. One-legged mountain, lift your right knee up, lift your arms. Like you're moving mindfully, strong through water, right foot steps forward, left leg lifts, one-legged mountain, left knee lifts. Send your left heel behind you, dancer's pose. Right arm reaches long, kick into your left. Hand, kick and reach. Bicep frames your ear. You can always use a wall to lean on, find your support. Activate the kick, lift your gaze. Where your eyes go, your body follows. We're here for four, we're here for three. Last two, one-legged mountain, one-legged mountain. Listen, lift your left toes. Step forward, this time come to your wall. If you're not there, your surface, come to your wall. You may need your strap as well, sorry about that. Start with one-legged mountain. Facing the wall, right foot lifts. Place your strap around your right foot, your towel. We're gonna find that lunge again against the wall. This time your left hand has the strap. Try to get your right hand underneath your left, your right leg. Maybe send it to the right. Left arm reaches up. Send your head through the loop. Standing compass, supported standing compass. Right arm is just floating, left hand. One day we'll grab the foot. We're here for three, for two. Gently release. So good. Pause. 
Keep your strap there. Lift your arms, mountain pose. Back bend, open up your chest. Lift your arms up. Forward fold all the way down. Halfway lift your chaturanga. One more round. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Gaze to your toes. Walk your palms back to your toes. Halfway lift. Exhale forward fold all the way down. Inhale. I couldn't find that in your music. <laughs> Inhale chair pose. Exhale airplane arms. Inhale one legged mountain. Left knee lifts. Exhale, eagle on the left. Left arm sweeps under, left leg sweeps over. It's okay to dock your toes, find your shoulders or palms. Squeeze everything to the midline, tuck your back toes if you can. Now bend your right knee. Lean back with your chest, elbows lift. Squeeze to center, sink a little lower. Here for four, for three, for two. One-legged mountain, left knee lifts, breathe in. Exhale, stepping forward, one-legged mountain, right knee lifts. Send your right toes behind you, dance it out, capture your foot, kick and reach, kick and reach. Activate your kick, biceps engaged, fingertips zip together. Lift even higher, find your edge, kick, bend that back bend, a little harder, higher, for four, for three, for two, one-legged mountain, take your time. If you dock out, come to your wall. Left leg will lift, one-legged mountain with the strap around your left foot if that serves you. We're just trying it out. Not a big deal, okay? It's hard to see, I know, with me facing the wall. It's just like that little lunge, but the foot is around your left leg, but try to get it up as high as you can, like a split against the wall. Right hand has the strap. Left arm goes under, maybe it holds something. Try to lift your, straighten your leg. Gaze up underneath your right shoulder. Standing compass, breathe, lengthen, breathe, lengthen, lengthen. We're here for three, we're here for two. Gently, slowly release. This time, coming back to our fold against the wall. Folding forward in our rag doll. You can walk against that surface. Let your head be heavy. Release the tension in your neck. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more round of wall stretching. Turn around so that your back is to the wall. Plant your palms and walk your left foot up the wall and use it for a standing split stretch. Palms are to the mat. Left toes reach high for this tie. Really find your split stretch. Let it feel good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk your left toes down. Slide your right toes up. Toes face the wall. Palms are down, slide it back. Feel your strength. For three, for two. Gently fold down, walk down to your knees. Flip to your back all the way down. Amazing effort, you guys. In a boat pose, Navasana, sliding all the way down. Boat pose all the way down to your back. Amazing effort. Press your right ankle over left knee. Hug your knee to your chest. Thankful for your body, for your practice. Breathe in, breathe out. So good. Cross your knees for a deeper stretch, ankles towards the shoulders. Feel a tight pinch in a good way, hopefully. Good, you can keep your eagle legs. One more breath to center. Supine twist with eagle legs. Keep your legs crossed. Knock them to the left, right arm extends, chin over your right shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Amazing effort today. Slowly come through center. And cross your left ankle over right knee. Hug your right knee to your chest. You can grab underneath your knee or outside your knee. You can even hold your leg like you're rocking the baby. Whatever you need. Cross both knees for a beat. Maybe hug ankles towards your cheekbones. Let your head soften. Notice how you feel. Breathe in. You can keep the legs crossed, supine twist. Turn your knees to the right, a left arm left. Chin knocks over your left shoulder. Let your body soften as you stretch. Relaxing down. Final bit, hug both knees to your chest and listen. Option for knees knocked in or Supta Baddha Konasana or final Shavasana legs long. You can choose just like we started, either knees together, knees wide, or arms and legs long. Find a final moment of stillness. I'll guide us out. Try to be still. You can cactus arms. Wherever you're at. Soften and find your intention. If this is your first time really finding an intention, take a moment to find it. That's okay, it's normal. What are your goals? What ambitions do you have? How can you manifest a reality? Believing yourself is step one. Breathe in, I am. Breathe out. Left hand to heart, right hand to belly. Let yourself, thank yourself for your practice. Finding gratitude, breathe in. Gratitude for the journey, breathe out. Send your arms and legs long for a good morning stretch if you're ready to move. Then rock to your favorite side or press yourself up to a tall seat. If you're with me, you can stay down as well. Inhale, lift your arms. So good. Listen, a little different. Palms come together. Slice the horizon. Right arm down like that arrow. Slice it back. Right arm back. Then lift it up. Slice left arm back. Yeah, to finish our compass. One more. Lift up the hands. Hands to heart. Pause. With gratitude, find your back. Hey friends, I hope that you enjoyed my compass flow. Thank you for joining me. Please like the video if you liked it and come back to your mat whenever you can. Let your heart be the guide. Follow your gut. Namaste.